Hello guys, my name is Aryan Nagrawal and today I am going to show you how to set up your environment for practicing data science on Windows. So we are going to see uh, three common ways to do so. The first is Spider, second is Jupyter Notebook and the third is Google Colab. This is my favorite part. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, let's see what steps we are going to take. First of all, we have to download Anaconda. This is a software that is used to uh, manage python libraries it is very easy to use and it is very convenient using this we can uh, download jupyter notebook and spider at the same time uh, then we have to set up our virtual environment in our anaconda uh, this part is very important and i will suggest that um, you observe it very carefully because you will be doing this uh, in future very much then we are going to install some libraries that are commonly used in data science and then we will see the demo on the three softwares that we have downloaded now let's jump to the downloading part of anaconda so first of all you have to go to the installation page of anaconda uh, using this link i will provide it in the description or you can directly search on google install anaconda and you will find the first uh, link to install it uh, so i am using windows so i will click on this and then uh, these are the detailed instructions that are used to install anaconda on windows so first of all you have to download anaconda installer and then uh, click on the downloaded app then click some next uh, you will see something uh, like this dialog, uh, dialog box and you can read these instructions i will not waste time in doing so so uh, after downloading this uh, your anaconda will be installed in your computer and now you can find anaconda from here uh, using this uh, directly searching anaconda navigator now we will open uh, anaconda navigator so i will pause the video for now so uh, now the, when you open the uh, anaconda navigator you will see a screen something like this so here uh, let me go through uh, all these uh, things that the, it is showing so here it is showing um, the name of the vir uh, virtual environment that you are using so base is the default environment that is set up by anaconda in the starting and you can navigate through all other uh, virtual environments and see what they contain so uh, i can switch through all the virtual environment from here and the second thing is we have to download two uh, softwares from here uh, the first is jupyter notebook this and the second is spider here okay so uh, in your case it may be showing install button here so you have to install both of these softwares that we are going to use in this demonstration uh, now here uh, you are having the list of all the environments that we have created in your case it uh, would be showing only this one base root and this is the list of all the libraries that we have already installed we can install uh, our libraries from here for example let's say we want to install pandas so we will search from pandas and you will find pandas here uh, it contains almost all the useful libraries that are used in data science so but we are not going to install libraries uh, using this option i will show you the cli commands for it uh, these are the just documents and this is community so these are not useful for us now what we are going to do is we are going to set up the uh, virtual environment that is uh, the second step of our setup for windows so now we need to set up our virtual environment so uh, first of all i will like to discuss why we need virtual environments so virtual environment is like a container of separate libraries we can download separate versions of the same library in different virtual environment so for example uh, let's say i have i am working on two django websites uh, site 1 is using django 1.11 version and the site 2 is using django 2.21 version so what i will do is i will create two separate virtual environments for 
site 1 and site 2 and we i will uh, download two separate versions of django and uh, like uh, it is showing wagtail in the virtual environment so now we are going to set up our virtual environment using command line interface first of all we have to search for anaconda prompt from here and it will open a command line interface like this so now what i am going to um, do is i will show you how many environments are there in my conda so here it is showing base in brackets it means that we are currently using base virtual environment which is the default by conda so now we are going to create a separate virtual environment for our data science project and see how to use it so here is a list of all the virtual environments that i have already installed uh, as you can see i have installed uh, different virtual environments for my different purposes for example here i have installed blockchain for uh, doing projects in blockchain similarly i have set i have separate environment for django which i use for different websites similarly i have two different three different uh, three different virtual environments for data science where tf means tensorflow i can we can choose any name that we want and similarly i have a separate environment for web scraping so now we are going to create a separate uh, virtual environment for data science so you need to type this command uh, conda create dash n now you have to put the name of the environment that you want to use so here comes the name data science for our environment now we have to write the libraries that we want to install in the uh, virtual environment this is a not a necessary step but i prefer to use this so now i am going to install python while creating the uh, data science virtual environment and now we can enter and our virtual environment will, would be created so i don't want to create a separate in environment since i have already created tf gpu here it contains all the it contains the python library that we have already installed now we need to activate our environment using the command activate tf gpu or in our case data science okay so now i am going to install tf gpu uh, now we have activated our virtual environment that is tf gpu it is showing here the name of the activated environment now we need to install all the libraries that we need for our purpose i have already copied the command for installing all the libraries so here it is so you have to uh, write conda install or you can also use pip that is pip install and then the name of all the libraries that you want to install so here are the common libraries that are used in data science that is tensorflow numpy pandas matplotlib keras skytcatlan and now you can enter and all these libraries would be installed in your virtual environment now we are all set up for the demo purpose now the fun part begins because now we are going to show the demo on the three softwares that we are all waiting for so first of all we uh, need to open the spider using our anaconda navigator that we uh, opened previously now let's open the spider using our anaconda navigator so here first of all you have to switch the virtual environment that you have just created but i am going to use tf gpu for my purposes it will take some time to load here it is showing the processing and after it has been activated then you can start using spider it might take some time to open the spider but also you may need to install the spider in in all the separate versions of virtual environment so this is the necessary step now i have already created a demo for a spider uh, first of all uh, you have to navigate to the place where your uh, file is residing using this button you can browse and go to the 
library uh, where you want to go so i have already navigated here so i will select this folder then you can see all the files using this so now i have created this first of all we need to import the libraries so i can copy and paste this in here in console and it will import the library now i am going to import the data uh, that is iris, iris data uh, here it is showing in the csv file so now we are going to open it in spider so just copy paste it and run so here you can see i have opened the variable explorer tab and when i executed this command a new variable was created here with the name df that is we have given the uh, data frame this name df and here it is showing the basic structure of the uh, csv file that we have opened so by double clicking on this you can open the uh, variable that we have created and it will show all the variables that you can see here so it is a very convenient software for starting data science now similarly we can print the shape of the data so here is the shape of the data now we are i am going to calculate the correlation matrix of all the variables in our data set so here it is so it is showing the correlation matrix and since i have uh, stored this matrix in a separate variable so it is showing in our variable explorer so when i open it i can see all the values we can directly uh, run the whole file using this button run file and it will run all the uh, variables in a single go now that you have seen how to work in spider we are going to show you how to work using jupyter notebook it is a very great software and uh, very good for visualization so i am going to show you how to open it using command line interface now you have to open anaconda prompt for using jupyter notebook now i am going to activate my virtual environment for data science that is tf gpu and here you can see that it is activated now i need to navigate navigate to the folder that i am going to use so i have already copied the address of my folder cd and then the path of the folder now i have all navigated we will use the command jupyter notebook it will open the jupyter notebook in the browser so here it has uh, opened in the browser and it is showing the all the files in the folder that we navigated uh, from here you can uh, create a new jupyter notebook using this button uh, this python and then it will open a new tab containing the an empty notebook but i am not going to use this empty notebook because i have already created the demo notebook so here you can use simple python like print hello world and we show the hello world now you can click here and you can execute another command so i am going to show the demo part now here you have to click on this and it will open the jupyter notebook so this is the same notebook that we created import the library you can use control plus enter and it will execute the cell here you can see it is showing a star which means the cell is running and when it shows a number it have run successfully but now we will execute this command here it is showing the csv file that we imported here we can see the shape and here we can see the correlation so it is a small demo now i am going to show you how to use google collab now i am going to show you the demo on google collab and i will show you how to import a jupyter notebook 
and done it in the Google Colab. The best part about Google Colab is that you don't need to install any software like Anaconda or uh, any type of uh, virtual environment, anything. And you don't even need a very good laptop. Uh, even if you have a very basic laptop, you can run it using um, uh, just a browser because it is uh, run by the Google in their cloud. So we don't need our setup. Now you need to open the your browser and search for Google Colab in the Google search and you can use the first link that comes up most probably uh, so this will be the link colab.research.google.com and it may ask you to uh, sign in into your uh, Google Gmail account so you can uh, use it now here it is showing all the uh, notebooks that I have previously worked um, I'm I can load the notebooks that I have already worked or I can uh, use this but uh, this option to uh, create a new notebook so I am going to use a new notebook now it will take some time to connect to the resources because the uh, these uh, this notebook is being run in the clouds by the Google now we have to connect it to our servers and here it is the folder option here we can um, upload all the data files that uh, we are going to use so let's wait for uh, the notebook while it is connected now it is initializing now it is uh, connected as you can see now we are going to uh, upload all the data that we are going to use so I will just drag and drop the data file from here to in this session and it will be uploaded it is just giving a reminder now it is uploaded Google Colab is the same as Jupyter Notebook the only difference is that it is running in the uh, clouds uh, using Google so you don't have to use uh, your resources but the only disadvantage is that there is a limited resources that you can use now we can import the data that we have taken uh, that we have uploaded here so First of all, I am going to import the libraries and it is the same uh, shortcut that is control plus enter and it will run the cell. Here you can see it is running and now we will create a different cell and here you can import the data. Now we we'll import the data and just use df head. You don't need to print it at the last line and run it and here it will show the beautiful visualization of the data that we have imported similarly we can print the uh, shape of the data and correlation matrix and it will show uh, like this also you can uh, import extra libraries in google collab if it is already not installed using uh, an exclamation mark and then using pip install Maybe you want to install TensorFlow and enter and it will install the all the libraries. Now since uh, TensorFlow has is already installed in the Google Colab, so it is showing that the requirement is already satisfied. And the best part uh, about Google Colab is that um, you already have all the libraries installed. Thank you for watching guys. Uh, please ask your doubts in the comments if you are getting any errors or problems I will surely help you please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe